Hello, Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. Today we are creating a faux stone finish on this really sweet little demi loon table. We're using Cloud, Calico and Sheena from the Pure Eco range. Now I'm using silk finish and chalk finish, I'm just using what I've got open. This look is best created with chalk finish. But, as I said, I'm using silk finish as well because that's what I've already got open. My main colour, however, cloud, which you can see me popping on here, is in chalk finish. So, I'm using a um, trowel or a palette knife to apply this and to create this finish. No brushes at all. You can see I'd originally tried to create a marble look and it just wasn't doing it for me. So, I decided to do this instead. So, first of all, you're just going to spread out your main colour. I chose Cloud, I wanted a nice bright face to my piece um, and I didn't want um, too much of that darkness coming through. I wanted the bright base underneath all my layers. So all I'm doing is spreading it out. You want to make sure that you get a nice even coverage. If your paint is too thick, you'll end up with cracking when it dries. Um, so just make sure that you spread it out the best you possibly can. So once I've got all of my cloud spread out all over the table, I'm going to come in with Chino, which is this beautiful dark brown grey. It's a really, really nice colour and this is going to be, this is, this is how I'm getting my stone finish. So when you look at a piece of stone, you're going to see those flecks of different colours through it. So this and uh, calico are my two flecks of colour coming through the white. So I'm just very lightly using my palette knife to gently wipe it on randomly. All different directions so it doesn't look one directional. And I'm just spreading it out as much as I possibly can. Really moving it around. I'm letting it mix with the wet cloud um, so that you get other tones of colour coming through well it's a pretty simple process uh, it's just a case of playing around until you get the look that you want and if you don't like it uh, you can either paint straight over it you'll have a lot of texture underneath but you can paint over it or you can sand it off uh, using chalk finish will definitely make the sanding process much much easier so I'm just going to now start applying my calico and again I'm just popping it all over randomly and I'm really just blending it and working it in with the cloud and with the chino to create this layered finish with lots of texture. Once I've got my couple of colors down, I'm really just starting to blend them together just a little bit. I don't want them super, super blended. Um, but I don't want them to look like big globs of paint either. So I'm using my palette knife again. I'm really, really lightly. I'm using the edge of my palette knife, not the flat. Um, if you use the flat, what will happen is it will create like a suction and it's actually going to lift up that paint, which we don't want. So I'm using the very edge of it and really lightly on a slight angle brushing over just to create that little bit of texture and then you just keep building those colors until you're happy with your finish so i've now come back in with chino and then i'll come in with some more calico
once I've got the top how I want it, I'm just going to smooth it out. Make sure that there's no really big peaks. Make sure that it's fairly even, but still having heaps of texture um, and layers in there. And then I'm gonna come around and I'm just going to carry what I did on the top around to the sides. Now the sides of the table are curved, they're a little bit harder to do. Um, I'm gonna pop down my cloud first and then sort of just slowly carry those, um, the calico and the chino around those edges just to make, make it look like that's how it naturally is. And it's, I think it's really important with this sort of finish to make sure those two colors are carried around. Um, otherwise I feel like it just takes away from the finish and it looks like a painted finish rather than like a stone finish. So because my paint's quite thick, I'm just going to let it dry overnight just to make sure my paint is 150% dry. Um, and then I'm going to very lightly sand it with a thousand grit sandpaper just to knock back any sharp bits. Um, again, we've created heaps and heaps of texture. So we wanna make sure that we're not leaving any sharp bits, any really big mounds of paint. So we're smoothing them out. And then once we've done that, I'm gonna give it a wipe down just with a damp cloth, remove any dust, and then I'm going to seal it. Now to seal this piece, I will be using Purico Pearl Finish and Purico Eggshell or Satin Finish, which is their uh, semi-gloss, I should say, which is their satin finish. I'm using a little tiny bit of the pearl on the top just to get that slight sheen happening that you often see on a stone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can go out and create this finish. It was really, really fun to do. I think it has a lot of applications and it's a really easy way to add an, an element to a piece that needs a little bit of a lift, needs a bit of detail. Um, so thank you so much. Have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.